Hello. So, remember when we sort of started this a few lessons ago, you know, we were talking about this is, an oscillator is what shape, and a VCA is how much, and a function generator is when. Um, so, that really applies here still because, you know, we're always dealing with timing in some way. However, you know, anything that is an LFO can go fast enough for you to hear it. So if I take, I've got the cycle button pushed on my maths, you see this cycle light happening, and if I turn it up, we hear absolutely nothing. But if we go fast enough, we get the attack and decay, or in this case the rise and fall, we get it close enough together, we start to hear a note. Okay, so what happens is these become viable oscillators um, because if you start changing the CV on the attack and decay, all of a sudden we've got note tracking in a way. It's not, you know, it's never going to be as easy or as accurate as on an oscillator. And same thing, this is what shape, right? It's not so easy to get shapes here without an oscilloscope because you got to like really listen. <laughs> um, and it's just not practical because um, once you start messing with CV on the rise, you're going to change the shape a little bit. Um, but it does exist here. Um, that's why it's sort of perfectly viable to have one oscillator. And, you know, I'm looking at a rack this size, because I'm sort of thinking about this series as people who are just starting out, right? Um, so I'm looking at what would I do in a rack this size if I were starting all over again. And I kind of think I would have one oscillator and a couple of fun function generators, as opposed to, like, two oscillators maybe. I um, have to really think about that because it's definitely possible. Um, same thing here. If we... Okay, you can kind of hear what's happening there. You know, if I have a fast attack, I have much more of a sawtooth type of sound. attack and decay are kind of closer together, it's a little more of like a triangle or a sine type of sound. Okay, same thing over here. If I put this in a cycle mode of some sort and go fast enough. We have a note. Um, this has two different LFO modes too, right? So we can get pretty different cycles. Let's see how fast we can get it going. <laughs> if I knew what I was doing. What have I done wrong? This one's sort of convenient the way it works, too, because this is the shape of the wave. When it's in that mode. Um, and the middle knob kind of combines with the right knob to make more shapes. really cool okay um so that's oscillators and you know conceivably you could make a chorus of oscillators um so let's see what we can do with that wow nope helps if you plug it in um uh, you know what i'm just gonna go out of the mix knob
this was totally unintentional, but it's pretty cool. Because <laughs> it's reacting with everything else. Okay, let's actually tune it to a note. So there's an example. We have oscillators with these function generators. Um, so, you know, that sort of illustrates my point that you could maybe run this setup with only one oscillator. Um, another thought, which doesn't exist on every module, but this one has it. Burst generation. Um, so what that means is... It's going to do sort of an unusual array of stuff. You know, it's not quite an LFO. It's not quite um, an envelope. It's just a series of bursts of voltage. So to make that happen, you know what? I'm going to take the end of cycle from here into the trigger. And that's going to make it happen. Okay. So I'm just using one function generator to trigger the other. I promise we're going to get to a point where we're using a computer or something else to trigger these. Um, so here we go. So I'm going out. And it's going to affect volume. <laughs> so there's our burst. And we can change shapes. This is how many. This is a lot, a lot of bursts in this mode. And we can choose our general shape. <laughs> There's a fun series of bursts. Okay. So, moral of the story, read your manuals, um, and look into function generators, because they do so many things for you. Um, and, you know, they can be oscillators, they can be LFOs, they can be envelopes, they can be triggers they can trigger itself they can trigger other modules um, and they can some of them can be burst generators some of them can be positive only lfos um, so i hope that gives you some ideas and you know as you're looking into modules um, i hope this helps you approach it um, with a little bit of uh, education about it